Hey guys, welcome to another level one MCAT prep viewer question. So this question was sent to me through, um, I think it was Facebook or Instagram. I always forget. But um, if you do have any questions, you can reach out through to me through the socials or even just an email. Uh, all the links are actually in the description in of this video. Uh, one of the thinkers, I've got a website set up. Um, great revision material there for you guys to check out as well. Again, the link is in the description. Okay. So let's get started with this question. The first thing to realize is that you're actually dealing with a quadratic here because of the x squared. And it's a positive quadratic, which means the um, graph is going to look something like this. Um, the first step we've got to try and figure out is the solutions of the roots. Now, in other words, what we're trying to do is we're going to put x squared minus 7x plus 10 equals to 0. And we're going to factorize it. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to a negative 10 up positive 10 and add up to negative 7. So we're going to get x minus 5 and x minus 2. So what this is telling us is that um, we're going to actually solve these two things first. So we've got x minus 5 equals to 0 or x minus 2 equals to 0. So in our first case we're going to get x is equal to 5 and in our second case we're going to get x equals to 2. So imagine it like this. Um, this is your parabola, right? And right now you've got these two points here, which happens to be positive 2 and 5, where the parabola is actually equal to 0. So if you want to have a look at for what values of x is this parabola negative, that means you're looking at this part of the parabola because you know, remember that in, a, in the y values, they're going to be positive above the x-axis and it's going to be negative below the x-axis. So the zone that you have here where um, between 2 and 5 is where the y value is going to be negative. So our final answer we're simply going to write it up like this. Um, something like uh, x squared minus 7x plus 10 is negative when x is between 2 and 5. And the way we write it is we write down like this. So 2 is less than x and x is less than 5. So we have to make sure that we don't actually put that um, less than or equal to because if it um, if it if x equals to 2 then what's going to happen is y is equal to 0 um, because remember if x equals to 2 or x equals to 5 then y is equal to 0. So that's why we don't actually put that equal sign here and it's just uh, less than. Cool guys, that's it for this question. As always guys, don't forget to like this video and share this video um, and also subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Um, there should be some playlists popping up, check them out. Great revision material there and as always, thank you for watching.